Hi, everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. While there is much discussion about how sanctions imposed on Russia will accelerate the decline of the dollar's position in the global economy, the dollar still rides high. Asia Pacific region was lower, snapping in advance of three days. Dollar block currencies are doing well, perhaps due to their commodity exposure. The Canadian dollar is the strongest. Notable. The euro was sold at $1.1060. Stock 600 Europe is currently recovering from its early losses. Futures in the USA are more stable. Gold is currently offered in Europe at $1.1930, having stalled at $1.1950. April WTI rose to $1.111.50 before stabilizing. Asian Pacific Market Although economic data from the region was not the main focus, it is worth noting that Japan's fourth quarter CAPEX was higher than expected. Today's JPY 114.70 to JPY 115.30 range was just within the dollar's trading range against Japan's yen. In the European morning, the greenback reached its highest levels. The Australian dollar traded within yesterday's $0.7240 to $0.7290 price range. Market of Europe The CPI for February was higher than expected in four of the largest economies of the Eurozone. It's not surprising that the aggregate also surprised on the upside. The year over 2018 pace grew by 5-8% thanks to a 0.9% month-over-month increase. Next week, the ECB will meet and provide a new economic forecast. Today's meeting of OPEC will determine next month's output. Most observers believe it will continue to follow its declared strategy of increasing output by 400,000 barrels per day. Separately, the US and UK are working to ban all Russian oil and gas imports. Today's euro price was $1.1060. This represents a loss of about 2 cents from last week's close. Sterling briefly fell below last week's low. It caught a bid in early European turnover and is now trying to regain a foothold above $1.3300. Market of America Despite recent U.S. data that is positive and some favorable optics, the U.S. economy seems to be slowing down sharply. According to the Atlanta Fed's GDP Now tracker, growth is at zero this quarter compared with 0.6% in February. The Fed remains front and center. Bullard and Evans get the ball rolling, but Powell's testimony before the House of Representatives is what really matters. The Fed's beige book, which was prepared for the Fonk meeting, will be released after Powell's testimony. It is widely believed that the Bank of Canada will join the ranks of central banks raising rates. The greenback traded briefly above its range against the Canadian currency on Monday. Yesterday, it tested the lower end in the CAD, 1.2650 to 1.2660 region. The US dollar recovered to 1.2750. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.